Hi everyone. Welcome back to part 3 of our weekend QA series. In this video, we are going to dive into another interesting question about exception contract in Java inheritance. Now the question is what happens if the parent declare an exception that child does not throw or if a child method throw a checked or unchecked exception that is not declared in the parent. This question might look simple but remember interviewer will ask this question with code snippet and start confusing you with different type of scenario. Now for example if you can see the scenario 1 there is an interface called bank and it has the do transaction method then we have the implementation class who override that particular do transaction method. Now things need to observe here bank is the parent who throws the exception but override method in child does not throws it or does not declare the throws keyword. What will happen in this particular scenario? Now next same example we have the interface and implementation where child throw the checked exception which is not declared in the parent interface or parent class. Next scenario 3 and if you observe here the child method is throwing unchecked exception which is not declared in the parent interface. Now you think about the answer and test yourself. Let's see how many of you still remember Java basics or you forgot them. Ok fine. Don't worry. Let's go through all the scenario and understand them with code. Ok. Let's get started. So if you observe I have created the bank interface and implementation is nothing your HDFC bank implementation. Now let's discuss the first scenario where you have defined the throws with some exception in your parent method which is deposit. Now if my child class HDFC bank which is my implementation class if he override this deposit method does it force to define this throws keyword or not. That is what the first scenario right. Now since I am doing it in IntelliJ idea you won't find the difference. So because ID will be auto compiled right you will get the result immediately. But you need to take time to think what is the problem and why Java designed in such a way. Fine let's go to the IntelliJ. Now I have the HDFC bank and it overrides the deposit method. Now I have not defined here the exception what I define in the parent. What I have declared here that I have not defined in the child. But still is there any compilation error? There is no compilation error. Now if I will also define throws. Is there any error? No. It doesn't matter if the exception defined in the parent that child forced to define it or declare it. In Java a child method is always allowed to ignore the exception declare in the parent method. This is because a single interface this bank interface it can have multiple implementation and it's not practical to force all of them to throw the same generic exception. Now for example this bank interface throwing the bank transaction exception ok. Now I have multiple implementation like HDFC, SBI or ICICI different implementation. So why should I force all of them to uh, throw this exception? They might not deal with this kind of exception right. So that is the reason Java is not forcing implementation class to declare the exception ok. That is the main reason you are not getting any compilation error. Now let's move to the next one. What is the second use case? Second use case your child is throwing or your bank implementation is throwing checked exception which you have not defined or declared in your parent interface. Now let's see what will be the output if you will define this scenario 2. Now go to the implementation class. Now remove this example I mean this exception. I have not defined any exception in the parent deposit method or you can take withdraw method anything is fine. But in deposit which is the child I am trying to throw one checked exception. What is the exception name? Bank transaction exception. Now if you see here let me show you I have created two different exception. 
this is the checked exception because I have extended it from exception and I also create another exception called application exception which is extend from runtime exception so you can consider it as a unchecked exception okay to simplify this demo I have created two different type of exception so that you can get the correct behavior of this inheritance exception contract fine now what is the result here child define or declare throws exception which is nothing the checked exception and it is not declared in the parent what error we are getting here first of all it is giving us the compilation error that is what you should reply to the in interviewer now why if it is giving compilation error why now if you see here what it says deposit this implementation class with deposit this is the interface overridden method does not throw this particular exception it is saying your parent does not define this throws keyword with this particular exception now why this compilation error that is what something we need to understand in java a child must follow the parents exception contract in inheritance if parent define the exception then only child can throws that but child don't have any rights to define the exception which is not there in parent or introduce a new exception of type checked exception because the reason is very simple who will call your bank interface he don't know what exception to handle he is simply referring to your bank interface and can found any exception signature on that particular method now for example let's say i have created a test bank class and i am trying to use the reference of interface and creating the implementation object now i am simply calling bank dot deposit method now if you observe here i am referring to the bank i mean which is the parent reference bank dot deposit now does bank dot deposit has any declared signature of any exception throws exception no right then how this test class will handle how first of all he will know that okay when i will access bank dot deposit there could be a chance of this type of exception i need to handle it he don't have any clue about what bank interface has right or what its implementation has because he is simply referring to your parent uh, interface that's why if a child is throwing any checked exception java enforce that at compile time to ensure safe exception handling so at compile time you can do one thing since your child is throwing this let your parents know about what your child is doing okay so do the same in parent so we have the solution now but is there any issue yes now think what if my other implementation like sbi or icici don't want to deal with this bank transaction exception but still if i i will create another implementation um, extending or implementing from this particular interface they are force or bound to handle this type of exception even though they don't want so that's why if you have multiple implementation class then in java it's always recommend to throw the unchecked exception from the implementation class rather than checked exception okay so here specific to your use case in hdfc bank implementation instead of throwing any checked exception you could throw some unchecked exception or runtime exception which will be better approach okay now let's do one thing now i will define here any unchecked exception or i will just throw the unchecked exception that is what the third use case right when you are throwing unchecked exception from your child but that is what you have not defined in your parent let's jump into that particular scenario now instead of bank transaction exception i will throw application exception okay go to the bank remove this in interface you have this method and in implementation you are throwing unchecked exception when we throw the checked exception compiler force us to handle it but when we are defining or when we are declaring throws with unchecked exception there is no compilation error are you seeing any compilation error no 
you can do one thing to make it more simple better let me do one thing like this if amount less than 100 then throw new application exception give some message something like that okay remove this first let's see now from this particular method from child i am throwing this particular exception which is of type unchecked but it is not forcing my parent to declare that the reason unchecked exception don't need to be declared in the method signature they are not part of the exception contract that is the reason if you observe here when i forcefully throw the exception even it is not forcing my method to define that usually if you will do something like this okay bank transaction exception which is a checked exception it will force you either handle it or delegate it to the method caller but when i am doing the same with unchecked exception even it is not forcing me to define that signature because they are not part of the exception contract java check at compile time and it can happen anywhere at any time right since that is a runtime exception so this is the reason unchecked exception is not force your parents to declare fine so we have understood all the three different scenario so this is how you can try to convince to the interviewer about this type of scenario when it comes to the exception contract in inheritance okay so that's it about this particular video you can share any question if you recently faced or anything you have noted on your list you can feel free to comment those interview questions okay so that i will try to cover them in my upcoming videos